Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to talk about Scott Pilgrim takes off just into like the broader conversation that's been around the show. Obviously, the show came out um, a couple weeks ago. It's been like a little less than a month. So it's been an extensive conversation that's already had, but I just kind of want to make a video because I think it's kind of an interesting topic of discussion. Don't worry, this will not involve any spoilers. Uh, if you're familiar with Scott Pilgrim takes off, I'm just going to say like, okay, I'm dancing around it. In case you never saw it, maybe you had no interest in it, and then maybe this video might change your mind about checking it out for you know the, the discussion points i'm going to have but either way uh i'm going to be dancing around a lot of like any spoiler talks so you don't have to worry about that but really quickly if you're unfamiliar with my experience with scott pilgrim i've never read the comic but i have seen the movie i love it it's a, it's a great movie and obviously i've seen all of scott pilgrim takes off in fact if you're curious and you want like a spoiler review slash discussion i have uh, do have reviews. Once again, they are spoiler reviews, so ha you do want to watch the episodes before you watch it. But I have all eight episodes. I have reviews of all eight episodes, like, you know, just breaking stuff down and discussing and sharing my thoughts about it. But, you know, if you want to check those out. But either way, obviously, there's been that conversation about the approach that was taken to this, the, the larger conversation of misleading marketing, which I kind of disagree with that notion in general. I mean, first and foremost, I guess I should start off, what are my thoughts about this series? No spoilers in there. I think it's fantastic. I think it is beautifully animated. I think it does a really good job of paying homage to the previous versions, whether it's the original comic, whether it's the movie adaptation, playing homage to them, you know, obviously leaning into like, well, the stylistic style of both like the movie while also amping it up even more because I, I know that the, the comic had that similar style too but the movie had its own stylistic flair and then you add like even more you like bring it up to the ump degree because you're adding this very beautiful and neat anime aesthetic and I think they do a really good job of taking a story in a different direction than you would expect it to necessarily go and I think they do a really good job of kind of exploring things and expanding upon things and I just think it's dope all around. It's also pretty dope that they were able to get the entire uh cast from the live action movie to reprise their roles in the animated form is pretty dope but what i was just bringing up beforehand is kind of like the the, the point i want to bring up was like the whole concept of like deceptive marketing in the regards of scott pilgrim takes off isn't what you think it was like they kind of make you because i did not watch a lot of stuff or read a lot about this show so i was coming into this under the impression i think a lot of people were that it was more so going to be like a closer adaptation of the comic once again i haven't read the comic i know the movie i think it's decently close to the comic but obviously there's a lot of stuff you couldn't include in that like there was a lot of stuff they skip over uh there's even stuff that takes off doesn't really cover obviously it's kind of doing its own thing but you get what i'm trying to say once again dancing around stuff but uh, i was under the impression it was going to be a closer adaptation than a comic and i only watched the teaser trailer i never actually watched the full trailer after i'd already seen the entire series so um but there's that conversation of deceptive marketing because Scott Pilgrim takes off isn't what most people were expecting and for some people they liked that other people didn't uh which is so interesting because I find that so interesting because a big indictment against the show for some people was oh are we just treading on water like oh it's just gonna be a rehash of what we already seen and it's not they do a very different take but it's, so it's interesting that, like some people are upset by that and then other people are like oh this isn't what I wanted or thought it was gonna be like why'd you go down this route but like I said it's about the deceptive marketing to some extent but I'm also like I don't think it's deceptive marketing necessarily like oh the way you you like it's a bait and switch and stuff like that is the, is the conversation that's being had around it but I'm like I don't think you can market the elements of the show, especially because the, the how where this show diverges is super early on, and you kind of spoil and ruin what like makes this adventure what it is, and like the the changes that they make, like and, you know, and narratively speaking, where that goes, you'd kind of take a little oomph out of that because even the full trailer does not tell you what takes off is about, and I, I think that's perfectly fine. So that's why I'm like, I don't see it as deceptive. I see that as like people complain about trailers giving away too much regardless and it's like this trailer didn't give you anything away it's like oh the real meats and potatoes of this show like what the show is really about you don't get that context and realize what it's about until you know slight spoilers until the end of the first episode you're like wait where are we going with this and in the second episode you're like oh wait is this where we're going you go along you're like, oh this okay we're doing this and we're sticking with it and how that all plays out you know is very like i said i feel like in essence it plays very true to the comic and even to the movie like it doesn't diverge heavily from like i mean yes it does its own divergence but i think it still keeps the same heart and approach 
I, I don't know. Once again, like someone having their issues with it, it's fine. But I just, I, to me, that conversation around the Scott, Poo, I enjoyed. That. I was like, wait, we're, whoa, I because like I said, I was under the impression we were doing like a closer adaptation than another comic. But like I said, I think that's kind of where you get like the element of. I, I, I think it. It's one of those things when it comes to adaptations where it's like regardless of you might not like this version or something you will always have the previous versions like hey you might not like takes off and that's perfectly fine but you will always have the comic it will always be there and you will always have the movie i get that thing of like you wish the adaptation was better because you were just like or, or like more accurate to what you want not even better because i think these three versions of this story like stand on their own like merit like i don't like, once again i'm not trying to compare the movie to take off uh as scott pilgrim takes off because you know i love them both i think they do both a fantastic job and especially because they approach things from different perspectives like i said t uh the movie is i think my understanding at least closer to what the comic traditionally is but how they play with all of that and takes off like i said i'm dancing around it but it's like it's still in the same vein and essence you know especially when you see where the story ends up going and i think it it sticks the landing i don't know i just think it's such a unique interesting approach because i remember the break room having this conversation because at the time they had watched like uh the first two episodes and they were having this conversation about revisiting someone else's work again uh, specifically like Brian uh, Lee O'Malley like has other stuff like Snot Girl is like another comic of his that I, I own that I'm aware of uh, it's like but oh like why we but it's like I, I think the series showcases why it, it feels weird to say this but it kind of I don't know how to phrase it justifies its own existence sounds weird to say but to me i think for some people they were going to go into this thinking like it doesn't if it's just going to be enough but it's like no it goes its own route to me so that makes it a worthwhile story to jump into and watch and see how everything unveils because once again you get to explore things that may yeah you might have gotten i think some of the stuff that gets explored and takes off wasn't even in the comics that they were like some of the characterizations like some of the characters you get to explore them a little bit more and also you get to do it in this beautiful anim animation style that's a blend of the comics art style while adding this anime feel and vibe and style to it and the music and it's just it's just fun it's it's great and it's just like a, like i said just an interesting approach um to the similar to the same subject matter just coming at it from a different lens and i like i said it, it, it's a weird phrase to use but i think the show justifies its existence in the story that it tells that like i said that's just my perspective on it i just thought it was such an interesting conversation because i hadn't really i'm sure this conversation can be hurt had about certain things but this is because i mean i know that happens from time to time with something like oh something I mean, I'm sure we're probably going to get that a little bit. A more recent example would be like, because it's coming up soon, is the Percy Jackson. Because obviously those were books that were adapted into two movies that you feel how you feel about the movies. I like the movies. That's not like how everyone feels. But obviously it's being adapted into a TV show that's coming out uh, starting to air later, later this month. So I'm sure the same conversation is going to happen there. And I know there's been no situations too where things have been. Or whether it's just something that was a movie that got adapted into a TV show or whether it was something that was like, oh, this went from a comic or a book to a movie and then to a TV show or yada, yada, so on and so forth. It's just that interesting conversation about adaptation. It's kind of like also going back to that point I made about The Last of Us of just a big criticism of the last of us where people were like why are you making this into a show you're just it's already cinematic enough like going from like a very cinematic game to a tv show it just feels like eh, what's the point but i'm like i think it was a worthwhile justification because they were able to do some really interesting things no spoilers but episode three is kind of like a standout to me of like i know that because the reason i use that episode because that rubbed some people the wrong way Yes, there's the outliers or just like I don't like the content of that episode. You can feel that way, yada yada, so on for it. We're not talking about them necessarily. It's more so about the people like I wanted it to be this certain way. It it, it plays into that same uh, conversation with Scott Pilgrim. So it's just it's just an interesting conversation all around. But in, in that case, it's just like hey, I wanted a more truer adaptation of the game with this particular character and their story. You went a different route, but I'm like that's the same conversation again. Of well, that's okay. They did this live action wise. You will always have the last of video game being like the true source of the material that you could always go back to it doesn't ruin that it's just like hey this is its own thing that gets to pay homage to the game while also approaching the story essentially 13 years later or so with you know different eyes and different contexts of where the world is where you are you're older so it's kind of that same approach i'm sure they'll 
was taken with Scott Pilgrim of like this comic book that was written from like 2004 to 2010 and we're like you know obviously takes off came out in 2023 but it's like obviously years of like animation and stuff like that but it's like yeah you're like dead like almost a decade later over a decade later of course you're going to have like a different perspective on things and you want to tackle things from a different point of view because you are not the same person you were then so it's like i said it's just this really really interesting conversation that i think is kind of applicable in, in, in the exact uh time it's actually interesting to have both take uh scott pilgrim takes off and the last of us uh tv show come out in the same year because they both fit in that same conversation like I said, it's, it's such an interesting conversation that i feel like doesn't come up that often and i just feel like it's so interesting hearing the uh the discourse around scott pilgrim like and i'm not saying everyone feels this way but this is just some of the discourse i picked up here and there over the internet and I, like i said it's been a little while so that discourse has kind of died down i'm sure but it's just it just it's something i was thinking about recently and i just wanted to make a video talking about it obviously these are my thoughts i'd love to get to know your thoughts in the comments down below where do you stand on scott pilgrim takes off were you upset by the changes were you like me under depression we we're going to get like a more accurate like closer adaptation of the comic and were you disappointed that we got what we got for takes off or were you happy about it do you if you want to use that phrasing do you feel like it justifies its own existence once again i feel weird using that phrase i kind of hate that phrase but i hope i hope it's getting across what i'm trying to say like i i'd love to know your thoughts about where you stand on the whole situation because i think it's just a fascinating um topic and uh conversation that can be had but really that's all i wanted to talk about to so the next time we meet be happy be safe live life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and good